award-winning actress Patricia Heaton. Uh, I want to get to a tweet that you posted in just a minute, but do you think that he was being sexist or was he just being insensitive towards somebody he disagreed with? Well, you know what they say in the South, God bless his little heart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if women weren't throwing things at their television, they were just rolling their eyes, I imagine, because I, 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 I'm 64. I'm shooting a movie right now. My husband and I just produced a, a movie ourselves that he directed, Unexpected, which is, just came out last week on Amazon Prime and iTunes. Um, you know, I, I was in my 50s. I was still working on the show called The Middle on ABC and still raising my four sons. Mm. I didn't start my career until my early 30s and didn't have my first child till I was 35. So if you're telling me that by the time, uh, you know, 20 years later, uh, 15 years later, I'm washed up, I mean, I don't know. My life doesn't look washed up to me. No, uh, you are fabulous and you've had a wonderful career and you're beloved from Everybody Loves Raymond from my uh, my, from my perspective, but obviously the middle as well. You tweeted this out saying, hey, ladies, Don Lemon thinks women over 50 are past their prime. Let's start hashtag prime time and list some of the things we've accomplished in these glorious later years. What kind of response are you getting? I have not only received hundreds of uh, tweets about all the things women are doing from starting businesses to um, doing charity work to climbing mountains um, and all the while still taking care of family and other family members. So it's, you know, women are uniquely gifted to multitask and do all these wonderful things for years and years and years. There's no age limit to what we can do. By the way, I just think this goes for people in general, but to dismiss women uh, after they turn 50 is 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 silly. It's just a silly thing to do. He well, made a huge mistake. I, I think it's a huge mistake, but I really think that it speaks to the fact that if you allow enough hatred towards anybody, whether you disagree with them, whether it's racism, whether it's sexism, whether it's ageism, whatever, if it's personal, if you make things personal, you just aren't sober enough to think clearly and you say things that you shouldn't say. I mean, <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think it was a big mistake. I don't know what the point of saying something like that was. I don't know why it wouldn't have been immediately apparent to him that 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 you're dismissing uh, millions and millions of women who are contributing immensely to the world, even more in their later years. So, uh, listen, we're all in this together, and it, it, it's just sort of weird. It was just, it was such an old, weird thing to say. It was an old trope, and especially because he he talked about the fact that he was raised with all women. He was the only boy. Uh, he was he he loves his mother immensely. Um, I have no doubt that he loves his family. It's just. Like, we have to think before we speak even more now today than ever, because all of us are well, kind of on candy camera. Well, especially if you're hosting a national show. <laughs> There's mean, that. We can all have this discussion amongst ourselves. Yeah. But, um, you know, as I said, he, he made a big mistake. I, I don't think he's a terrible person. Um, but I, I, it was just fun to receive. I, I got an email last night from my 83-year-old actress friend, Annie Corzin, who became a TikTok star <laughs> last nice. year at 83 and just got a book deal. I need to watch this her. Yes, these are the kind of letters, uh, emails, and tweets I'm getting from women all over the place just saying, hey, we're still here and we're making a difference. How do women watch him again? I mean, clearly, I mean, he's been on TV for such a long time. He's had a very uh, prestigious career. I mean, really, he's had a very long career in journalism. But for ladies who are watching and tuning in, I would think it's like, okay, well, fool me once, I, shame you know, on you. Well, fool me twice, shame on me. I, I feel compassion for him because it's almost like he's my son or something. I'm like, oh, no, honey, don't say that. Yeah, no. Don't say that. No. Maybe he could read your book, Second Act, about <laughs> yes, how when I things don't go the way you want, that you need to reinvent yourself. Reinvent yourself. This is a good opportunity for Don. <laughs> No, but yeah, I, I mean, I wrote a book about people reinventing themselves, when, you know, and that just came out, what, two years ago. Mm -hmm. So um, that we, we can, listen, I women know we can do anything. The fact that we do everything we do while the majority of us are also raising families, we know. 
we know what our power is. We know how strong we are. Um, and, and God bless. I have to say thank you, because I think for a lot of women, they need to be reminded by the sisterhood that they can do anything and that life isn't over after 50 or 60 or 70 Absolutely. or 80. And so Absolutely. I, I'm sure we're, we're, we're all applauding you uh, from wherever we sit right now this morning, uh, saying thank you for showing us the way. Patricia Heaton, we appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us on Morning in America. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.